There was once a woman who was very very cheerful though she had little to make her so for she was old and poor and lonely she lived in a little bit of a cottage and earned a scant living by running errands for her neighbors getting a bite here a sup there as reward for her services so she made shift to get on and always looked as spry cheery as if she had not a want in the world now one summer evening as she was trotting full of smiles as ever along the high road to her hovel what should she see but a big black pot lying in the ditch goodness me she cried that would be the just the very thing for me if i only had something to put in it but i haven't now who could have left in the ditch and she looked about her expecting the owner would not be far off but she could see nobody maybe there is a hole in it she went on that's why it has been cast away but it would do fine to put a flower in for my windows so i'll just take it home with me and with that she lifted the lid and looked inside mercy me she cried fair amazed if it isn't full of gold pieces here's luck and so it was brim full of great gold coins well at first she simply stood stock still wondering if she was standing on her head or her heels then she began saying lock but i do feel rich i feel awful rich after she had sat this many times she began to wonder how she was to get her treasure home it was too heavy for her to carry and she could see no better way than to tie the end of her shawl to it and drag it behind her like a go cart it will soon be dark she said to herself as she trotted along so much the better the neighbors will not see what i am bringing home and i shall have all the night to myself and be able to think what i'll do mayhap i will buy a grand house and just sit by the fire with a cup of tea and do not work at all like a queen or maybe i will bury it at the garden foot and just keep a bit in the old china teapot on the chimney piece or maybe goody goody i feel that grand i don't know myself by this time she was a bit tired of dragging such a heavy weight and stopping to rest a while turned to look at her treasure and lo it wasn't a pot of gold at all it was nothing but a lump of silver she stared at it and rubbed her eyes and stared at it again and i never she said at last and me thinking it was a pot of gold i must have been dreaming but this is luck silver is far less trouble easier to mind and not so easy stolen damn gold pieces would have been the death of me and with this great lump of silver so she went off again planning what she would do and feeling as rich as rich until becoming a bit tired again she stopped to rest and gave a look around to see if her treasure was safe and she saw nothing but a great lump of iron well i never says she again and i am sticking it for silver i must have been dreaming but this is luck it's real convenient i can get penny pieces for old iron and penny pieces are a deal handier for me than your gold and silver why i should never have a slapped a wink for fear of being robbed but a penny piece comes in useful and i shall sell that iron for lot and be real rich ruling rich so on she trotted full of plans as to how she would spend her penny pieces till once more she stopped to rest and looked around to see her treasure was safe and this time she saw nothing but a big stone well never she cried full of smiles and to think i mistook it for iron i must have been dreaming but here's luck indeed and me wanting a stone terrible bad to stick on the gate e my but it's a change for the better it's is a fine thing to have good luck so all in a hurry to see how the stone would keep the gate open she trotted off down the hill till she came to her own cottage she unlatched the gate and turned to unfasten her shawl from the stone which lay on the path behind her a it was a stone sure enough there was plenty light to see it lying there dows and peace able as a stone should so she went over it to unfasten the shawl and when oh my all of a sudden it gave a jump a squeal and in one moment was as big as a haystack then it lay down four great lengths lags and threw out two long ears nourished a 
great long tail and roamed off kicking and squealing and whining and laughing like a naughty mischievous boy the old man stared after it till it was a fairy out of sight then she burst out laughing too well she chuckled i am in luck quite the luckiest body here about fancy my seeing the boggy beast all to myself and making myself so free with it too my goodness i do feel that uplifted that grand so she went into her cottage and spent the evening chuckling over her good 